Hello and welcome back to our Travel D Beach House series. In this video we'll be exploding windows. Now that we're happy with our doors and windows, we explode them. Triple D windows will automatically cut their own opening on the inside face of a wall, but as with all SketchUp windows, they will only cut one face of the wall, that is either the inside or the outside face. In Treble D we cut a hole in the outside face of the wall using the Treble D push face. It's built into the window and needs to be activated by exploding the window. So we place the window, explode it, then go outside and push a face through it. It's a lot of fun. So we can also push face multiple windows. To do that we explode the whole shell. In the shell explode scene we first open up the shell to edit it and make a left to right selection box. This will highlight everything. Then we right click and select explode. What this does is highlight the treble D push face that shows up on all the windows and doors. Now using the push-pull tool, we hover over the window until that face lights up, click on it and push the face back while hovering over the edge of the inside face of the wall using that as a reference point. We click on it and we've just cut an opening on the outside face of the wall. Now we can see through the window. SketchUp's memory system has automatically saved the wall thickness, so now we only have to double click on the other windows to push the face the correct distance and create an opening in the wall. So we work through the model and push every window. This process creates a, a new face that connects the inside and the outside of the wall. This allows us to adjust the thickness of the external walls if we have to. We do the same thing with each door. If you have a problem with a door or a window misbehaving, it's best to just delete it and patch up the wall and just put a new door or window in. So that's it. All our doors and windows are done. We save our work. We've just got to clean up the excess line work and we're done with the ground floor. So working in the shell explode scene, we open up our shell. Before we start erasing, we must first check for missing lines. When we overlap modules in treble D, we sometimes end up with a, with a missing edge where the modules meet usually happens on external walls on the inner angle. You can see where these two faces meet, there's no edge. So we need to fix it up. We use the, the line tool, draw a line in the corner. There's actually two lines here, one from the top to the floor level and another from the floor down to the bottom. Now we do the same thing on the other side of the laundry. Uh, this will only happen at the inner angle. So now we take the eraser tool and begin rubbing out unwanted line work. We just click and drag through the lines we don't want, taking care as you go. We're going to leave in this horizontal line at the floor level. It runs around the perimeter on the outside. Uh, we're just going to leave that in. And that's about it. The job's done and it's looking good. If it's all too hard or if you just don't have the time, please feel free to contact us at Treble D. We have very modestly priced consultants who can help you out with construction drawings or any aspect of the design process. Cheers.